Hey everybody, so it's been a while but I think it's time I finally got to having a look at this. So this is the Arc Models Buran, Buran um, Space Shuttle. This is the Russian answer to the American Space Shuttle. And, uh, it's a kit I didn't know existed until I uh, was uh, randomly going through eBay and uh, this thing turned up. As you can see, everything's written in Russian, so I don't actually understand what it means, but I know this machine is called Buran. Um, it's a 144 scale kit, as you can see down here. And uh, yeah, I've had it quite a while. How long have I had it? Uh, uh, I bought it, uh, let me see. It arrived sometime in June 2020. So it's been sitting in the stash for that long. A uh, little piece of paper here. And uh, yeah, so I thought it's about time I had a look at it. Uh, I've never heard of ARC models before, uh, before this one. And uh, it came all the way from Russia. Uh, in fact, uh, <laughs> I'll see if I can find it. Uh, it came in, uh, wrapped up in brown paper. And uh, instead of having a post label, like uh, a lot of things have these days. It's had a whole set load of stamps across it. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I'll, uh, I'll take a look see if I can find it. Just a moment, please. Nope, can't find them anywhere, but uh, if I do find them, I'll pop them somewhere behind me. Maybe. Uh, right then, let's get down to this. Anyway, here it is. The Buran Space Shuttle in 148 scale. Uh, so on the front there, got a nice painting of the... Uh, vehicle itself see if i can get rid of that shine there you go it's all covered in plastic this box uh arc models over there uh all stuff that i i generally can't read anything here except arc models over there and 144 down here on this bottom side get one there's some photographs of the vehicle itself over here uh chase plane there mig something rather and uh pictures or probably cad renders of the uh, finished kit and uh, AK14402, I think, is a model number. On this side, it's a big box. So let's see if I can get you all in. Can you focus? There you go. Uh, same information with the painting. On the back side, or this side, let's have a look. Got uh, some stuff there. Uh, again, 144 scale. Uh, not suitable for children under three years because of small parts or so some warnings there. Uh, here it tells you how big the model is, 230 millimeters by 165 millimeter wingspan and a barcode and on the other side, same as the other side. So, time to cut into this. Got a little cutting knife. I'll go for the sickle shape one this time. Right then. If we can do it so I can keep the uh, cellophane on the outer of the box. Hopefully keep it clean. Probably edit this down. Right then, now it's a very big box as I mentioned and uh, from previous experience of building a the American shuttle all those decades ago, I know the vehicle isn't that big so let's see what we have in here. We have a cardboard box, <laughs> uh, let's put this somewhere safe, there we do, so there we go. And there we have it. Uh, a box bigger than it should, than could be, with or a piece of one large plastic bag with some parts in it, plastic parts, and a instruction manual in colour. Well, there you go. So uh, right then, let's take a look at this. So the uh, right, let's put this aside for a bit, and uh, start at the beginning with the uh, 
It's took some money off. Let's zoom in a little bit on that. So up here, so everything here is written in Russian, so I can't read what it says, except for Arc Models AK14402, 144 scale. Uh, we turn the page, first page, is it all in? No, is it, is it? Yes, it is. So we have um, sprue map. One sprue with parts one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, and eleven. Okay, next page. Another sprue map, another sprue, two more sprues. Some clear screws there, I believe, to the cockpit. So all very decent laid out. I'm gonna get into building, so we're halfway through the uh, book. Oh look, there's a, <laughs> didn't notice this before. This is a, uh, yeah. One of those little safety barcodes that you stop people from pinching stuff from shops. Anyway, right then, so it looks like you begin with the, the back end of the vehicle, the bulkhead. And here you got what uh, I believe are the uh, rockets, main rockets. Unlike the American shuttle, this doesn't have those uh, huge massive rockets on the back that help to get it up to space. All that is done by the uh, uh, main booster rocket that the vehicle is strapped to. Uh, so, so these rockets are mainly for manoeuvring in space and for coming back down onto Earth. Uh, I do understand that uh, they it did have uh, an option to have some jet engines strapped onto the back of it. Uh, just behind the uh, the uh, just over there, look at that. <laughs> okay, just over there, behind the uh, main tails up there, so so that it could uh, fly in atmosphere. But uh, I'm not going to go into great detail about the machine because uh, that's not what I'm here for. I'm here for the kit. So it looks like we start off with the back end of it, and then the uh, main cargo hold. Bit of the copy area, more cargo bits, then put the internals into the fuselage, put some bits on, on the front of the fuselage, and then, ooh, tackles. And then uh, putting more bits onto the back of it, looks like a bit of the back end of the maneuvering unit. Then you've got some, underca uh, some, some undercarriage landing gear here. Uh, put the wings together, which go onto the main lower part of the vehicle and uh, then drop the uh, fuselage onto the wing section put the wheels on wheel doors uh, and so on more bits there and then uh, here on the last page you have uh, uh, attaching the uh, door so looks like uh, the idea is to display it with the main cargo doors open and uh, the uh, arms which it appears to have two arms on it uh, mounted inside there. So anyway, there you go. On the back page, nothing. So yeah, fairly, fairly simple, straightforward instructions. Nothing too complex there, just numbers pointing at the parts, telling you where the parts go together. So no description of what anything is. So basically about as simple, straightforward as you can get for an instruction manual. All right. Something we found while looking at the instruction manual was the uh, decals. So let's take a closer look at these. So a little tiny deco sheet here, the CCP, CCCP, uh, Russian flag there, and uh, not a lot there, just some, some CCP logos on, on the uh, red flag, hammer and sickle thing, and Buran there in uh, large type. In interesting enough, there's no, there's nothing in the manual that shows you anything about paint and uh, and uh, decal fitting. So I guess one has to go about the box art over here. So yeah, looks like the tiny CCPs go on the uh, arm. So there's that. Got CCP on the wing there. Uh, no mention of where the uh, big Buran words go. At least I think it says Buran, but I could be wrong. So. Yeah, looks like a little bit of research is going to be necessary. This machine basically took its first flight in, was it? When was it? See if I can interpret anything here, 1990? Probably earlier than that. Took its first flight quite a long time ago, and uh, that's all it ever did. Yeah, it went up autonomously, you know, there's no humans aboard, so it was all uh, flew itself on computer control, I, I imagine. 
So it went up on the big uh, Energia uh, boost rocket and uh, did what it was supposed to do, came down, landed perfectly, and that was it. Uh, at that point, Russia ran out of money, Russia split up, and uh, there it is. Anyway, I have to put that aside and uh, put the decal somewhere safe. Let's have a look at the plastic. Big old bag of plastic. In a resealable bag, so that's handy. Look to the side for the time being. Ah, that is a lot of plastic. Well, big plastic, so I guess it was a big vehicle. So I'll just start with the first sprue off the top. Can you see it? There you go. On the blue background. There you are. So, what can I say about this plastic? These molding uh, arc models in the, in the middle there. Uh, doesn't tell me what sprue this is. And uh, in fact, as I look at the parts, there is no numbers on the uh, parts themselves. So I guess, if I want to figure out which part is which, we'll have to go to the sprue, because the, uh, the, sp the sprue pictures here, sprue maps, all have numbers on them. So this sprue here is this sprue here. So this is part 15, this is part 14, part 18, this one is 19. So yeah, I may in fact uh, take a pen out and just write some numbers on the parts themselves, on the blind side at least, see if it helps. Right then, first glance, took me the glasses on so I can have a better look at it. <laughs> oh, the downsides of uh, failing eyesight. So, the plastic is average. It's basically the same uh, the, uh, the kind of detail I'd expect on a model from, from the 1990s or the 2000s. Uh, there is some very fine detail, like you can see just there. I'm going to get you in. So you've got these tiny bits here on that part, which are a very fine detail. I guess there's not a lot of necessary detail on the outside of this because the vehicle didn't have all that much detail to begin with. Uh, or did it? Am I getting that wrong? Uh, anyway, so you got th this I believe is the top part of the vehicle, the doors which are closed. So it looks like you have the choice to put in uh, closed bay doors or open bay doors as we shall see shortly. Um, the main fuse large, again the uh, detailing there is fairly clean and neat and tidy. Uh, nothing terribly exciting but uh, not fair fast but at all. Certainly a good 8 out of 10 I'd say for this, this particular sprue at least. Uh, yeah, not bad. Uh -huh. Anyway, lots of uh, ejection pin marks. <laughs> Something that gets talked about a lot in, in these uh, type of videos. Uh, fortunately they're all in places that won't be visible. They're all, they're all on the blind side. Even the ejection pins for the uh, these rocket thrusters, little boosters here, they're on the inside. So yeah. Anyway. There we have it. So that's sprue number, I don't know what's, it's, which nut with sprue it is. Sprue I shall refer to the manual. This is uh, sprue, I shall go with uh, sprue number three because it, it, because it's the third sprue in the, ma in the manual. In fact, let's have a look. I'm looking at this, I'm seeing there's a part 28 there which isn't there. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong, oh, there it is. So I'm looking at this upside down. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, I'll mark this as a sprue 3. In fact, I'll do that now. Where's that pen gone? Sprue number 3. Put it out there in the corner. And uh, it's already necessary. Well, I think so. Uh,
There you go. I suppose I could have written it on there, but I don't want to. Right then, that aside for the time being, and let's go to the next sprue. This being sprue number two. So let's get the right side up. Now, unfortunately, there's detail on the inside parts here. These are, I believe, are the main cargo bay doors, but you also have a push pin marks on here, there, 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 four of them, clearly visible, so it looks like some work is going to have to be done to get rid of those, assuming you're going to build it with the doors open, because you can always close the doors and uh, that wouldn't matter, which is what the other parts are for. Again, the, uh, this, this sprue contains most of the little parts, uh, the wheels, landing gear, uh, tiny, tiny landing gear there. Uh, over there and there so on. Uh, the arms I believe, that's one there, that will be another one there. Well that's the arm, that's an arm, that's just a pipe of sorts. Uh, uh, wheel bay doors I believe. Uh, some other parts for the uh, and, uh, the bay the bay doors like these. So again the, the small parts have pretty much a lot of detail and they're fairly well moulded. Uh, again nothing to get terribly excited about but uh, nothing to worry about either all pretty good stuff I'll take this as to be screw number two screw number two so there we go yeah uh, landing gear and, sh and stuff uh, let's, slide, let's see if we can give you a slightly closer look arc models in the middle there little pieces that I don't know what they are for landing gear there uh, the wheels more landing gear there, and so on. Anyway, pretty good. Next screw. Uh, I believe this will be our sprue one. Let's get you all in there so you can see. So this is the first sprue we're looking at, so I shall mark this one as a sprue number one. On the back here. In fact, I could write the numbers on the parts here, so let's have a look. This bit is uh, number one. Uh, get the right way up so I can see it. Number one, this is uh, two, three, four, five. This is 11. Uh, you know, I've written it the wrong way around. This one's four. Because I should be looking at it that way around. <laughs> anyway, so that part there is number six. Right here on there. This part here is number seven. You can write it on the inside there. Uh, this flap here, that's number ten. You can write it on the side there, ten. Uh, these parts are not numbered, are not shown, or rather these parts are not shown in the uh, manual, just empty space there. Now they do look like uh, canopy windows, so this have got a choice of uh, blanking your uh, vehicle's cockpit off with one of these, with these two, or going for the uh, clear sprue, which we'll look at in a moment. Now, this part here is number eight. So there's no interior of the uh, cockpit here, so uh, that'll be why you can have a choice of uh, blanked off spaces. But uh, yeah, there it is. Uh, uh, the moulding on these wings here is looks very good to me. Uh, I like the way that it's just neatly detailed. Again, nothing terribly exciting to get you right home about, but then nothing to worry about either. It's all very well made and uh, neatly done. Uh, of course, the uh, proof is in the pudding, is in the making, so we'll see how that goes. But uh, yeah, this is sprue number one, I shall call it. Getting down already, haven't I? Yes, there we go. There we go, sprue number one. And last but not least, we've got this tiny little clear windows bits here. So not only do you have the main cockpit pass there, but you've got this little clear squares here, which I suppose I can take a look and see where they go. Uh, 
find out what the what what the numbered first would, would help. Uh, twenty three. So let's have a look. Yeah, does it? So these two here are numbered twenty three. So look. Hmm. So it's uh, we got uh, a bit of a problem here. So we've got the. Uh, This one here like that, but there's no pieces on the on the side of it, so you've got just that square loop. And that one there. Yeah. So already we have a little problem here. But then I doubt very much these are gonna be where where would they go anyway? I suspect they'll be the uh, windows set on the inside. There we go. So let me go back to look at the numbers, number six. 23 so basically they go on the inside of the bulkhead look, looking at the uh, at the front of the vehicle looking into the uh, uh, bay such as here so the stop piece there so the windows there so basically if there was any crew in there they could uh, look through the window to see what's going on in the main pair of the bay yeah got to got to fix oh and the 23 bits these square bits go on top of the carpet so you can uh, look up above Anywho, the glass, the clear pieces are of average quality. Uh, the uh, the basic shape looks good, but the surface texture of the plastic is a bit. It's got a bit of a satin texture to it, should I say? So it's not terribly clear. But considering there's nothing to look at inside, it doesn't really matter. So uh, I may just paint in black anyway, or I could use the. Uh, Solid ones is dead. Yep. So there you have it. So that's the uh, Ark models, Buran Space Shuttle, uh, the Russian Space Shuttle that uh, never completed its uh, promise. Um, I do believe that if they uh, if they did go ahead and use this more often, it would have uh, certainly been as uh, as useful as the American Space Shuttle. And chances are, because it doesn't have the huge main engines in the back of it, would, uh, the turnaround time for this vehicle will probably be slightly less. Because uh, with the American Space Shuttle, the engines had to be totally rebuilt each time, and that took months per unit. So, so you know, so without all that uh, work needed, there could certainly have been. Uh, I'm fairly certain that uh, from what little I understand of it, they could have had. One of these going up uh, at least once a month, if not soon, if not earlier. So yeah. Anyway, that's it for my first look of the. Uh, let's see that you're in, in the picture. That's it for my first look of the uh, Ark models, Buran space shuttle. So if you've built this kit, or uh, let me know down below. I'd, I'd like to uh, see more of it. As I said, this is a first for me. It's the first of Ark models I've ever seen. Uh, first ARC models that I know about, the only ARC models that I do know about, and uh, the only model kit I've ever seen of the Russian space shuttle, the Buran. Uh, right, anyway, thanks for watching. If you like this video, tell your friends. If you didn't like it, tell me why. And, uh, you know, do all those nice things. Subscribe, hit the like button, all that, and all that jazz. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, happy modeling.